Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the University Marshal, Dr. Ruben Martinez, has entered the Convocation Center.
Ladies and gentlemen, to open officially the May 2005 commencement ceremony of the University of Texas at San Antonio, will the University Marshal bearing the mace and the faculty marshals conveying the banners for the College of Education and Human Development 
and the College of Public Policy please come forward to position the mace and to post the colors. The UTSA faculty, university administrators and staff, and our community of UTSA graduates welcome you, our guests, to the UTSA commencement. Will all please rise for the singing of the national anthem led by UTSA student Francisco Espinosa and the posting of the colors by the UTSA Air Force Honor Guard. It is now my pleasure to introduce members of the stage party, whom I will ask to stand to be recognized. I ask you to hold your applause until all members of the stage party have been introduced. Dr. Ricardo Romo, President of the University of Texas at San Antonio. You may be seated.
Dr. Raymond A. Paredes, Commissioner, Higher Education, who will present our commencement address later in the program. Dr. Guy H. Bailey, Provost and Executive Vice President. Dr. Rosalie N. Ambrosino, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Dorothy A. Flanagan, Dean of Graduate Studies. Dr. Richard A. Diem, Dean of the Honors College. Dr. Betty M. Marchant, Interim Dean of the College of Education and Human Development. Dr. Jesse T. Zapata, Vice Provost Downtown Campus and Dean of the College of Public Policy. Dr. Ruben O. Martinez, Professor of Public Administration and University Marshal. Dr. Raymond V. Padilla, Professor of Educational Leadership and Policy Studies, representing the Faculty of the College of Education and Human Development, and Major Professor of Doctoral Candidate Mary Jane Miller. Dr. Berta Perez, Professor of Interdisciplinary Studies and Curriculum Instruction, representing the Faculty of the College of Education and Human Development, and Major Professor of Doctoral Candidate Mary Esther Soto Huerta. Dr. Paul H. Westmeyer, Professor of Counseling, Educational Psychology, and Adult and Higher Education, representing the Faculty of the College of Education and Human Development, and Major Professor of Doctoral Candidate Joan T. Newman. Dr. Dennis T. Haynes, Professor of Social Work, representing the Faculty of the College of Public Policy. Dr. Olivia Yu, Assistant Professor of Criminal Justice, representing the Honors College. And the Honorable Linda C. Montgomery, President of the UTSA Alumni Association. Please join me in, in welcoming the members of the stage party. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Mr. President, it is my distinct honor and high personal privilege to inform you that the academic community of the university is assembled. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the University of Texas at San Antonio, Dr. Ricardo Romo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Professor Almaraz. What a turnout. What a turnout to celebrate the achievements of these folks today. I am just delighted to see standing room only. Give yourselves a hand. Well, good morning. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2005 commencement ceremonies at the University of Texas, San Antonio. This morning, we honor students earning degrees in May and August from the College of Education and Human Development and the College of Public Policy. It's a distinct privilege, as I noted a minute ago, to celebrate this occasion with you and your families. No doubt you've noticed that we are growing. And because we're growing, we're always adding classrooms, labs, et cetera. But a great university is not about bricks and mortars. Although bricks and mortars may help us in terms of adding a little bit more parking to the campus, something that all of you would like to see happen before you graduate. So you have to come back for a master's or doctorate as we add more parking for you. A great university is about people like you, achievers. And why is UTSA noted as the fastest growing first choice institution of the state of Texas? It's because of you, the students. And of course, we have a wonderful staff, wonderful faculty, and wonderful parents all supporting what you're doing. And that's why I enjoy coming to work every single day. That's why I love being part of UTSA. This May, the number of gra graduating doctoral candidates has reached the double digits for the first time. And beginning this fall, UTSA will begin its first master's and doctoral degree programs in physics. We will continue to develop more doctoral programs and recruit talented faculty. In fact, last year we had $34 million in research grants, a dollar figure that I think will grow year by year. At our downtown campus, some of you may have noticed that we expanded across the street 
And we now have the Monterey Building, a 90,000 square feet building where the entire School of Architecture is presently located. It is a great new location for many of our students and our staff and faculty. And then we have a lot of activity in terms of recognizing outstanding students and outstanding faculty. You might want to know that we partnered with two other local organizations to earn $5.5 million in the No Child Left Behind grants to recruit and retain qualified teachers for our high schools. And as someone who graduated from college a few years ago and went on to teach in middle school and then in high school, I can't tell you how proud I am to know that so many of you here are headed in that direction. Some of you are headed in other directions, and you may be a college president one year. That's okay, too. This spring, we enrolled the first student in our Master of Social Work program. Our minor in nonprofit program management is a successful first year. We became one of only 10 universities in the nation offering graduate students certificates in American Humanics. I will add that the College of Public Policy Assistant Professor Kim Keller also an attorney, wrote a legal brief that won the attention of the U.S. Supreme Court and later led to a Supreme Court victory for her client. We have outstanding scholars, researchers, and teachers at UTSA. In fact, we've picked up so many honors, it's hard to keep up. Just the other day, I read about the fact that, get this, the 2005 National Collegiate Rock, Rock, Paper, Scissors Grand Champion I'm not kidding, was a UTSA freshman. <laughs> All right, give him a hand. More to come, right? Well, UTSA's greatness, which is really your greatness, is reflected in all the things that we're accomplishing together. It's reflected in your day-to-day, -day, being here as a graduate, and all the faculty who have helped prepare you to get here. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the UTSA faculty who have guided, nurtured, and motivated these graduates. Will the member of, members of the UTSA faculty please stand and be recognized? Our faculty, let's give them a hand. Great job. Thank you so much. Well, as you might note, this commencement also honors the families and friends who have been more than spectators in the accomplishments we recognize today. They've been active participants in these graduates' achievements through their patience, encouragement, and sacrifices. So I want to publicly recognize and thank those family members and friends who have played this important role. So I'm going to ask first that the, that the parents of today's graduates Please stand. The parents stand and remain standing. Let's give them a hand. Wow. That's a lot of parents. All right, we're going to need the spouses to join them. Y'all keep standing. Well, the spouses, if, you're, if you have a husband or wife graduating here, stand up. Wow, that's a lot of husbands and wives. Okay, I just heard a bullhorn. Let me just tell you one thing about the bullhorns. Take that bullhorn back to Walmart. Do not blow it here. Blow it in your car and away out of here. Why? Two reasons why we don't want the bullhorns. Reason number one is when you blow the bullhorn, who's ever coming up next, the name will not be heard. So all these people here will not hear the name of their graduate and they'll be very upset. So like I say, blow that bullhorn in your car. Uh, secondly, you don't want a bullhorn because we have some great grandmothers and some infants. The great grandmothers will faint. The infants will cry. We'll have chaos. No noise makers, please. All right, now. 
Thank you. Now you're standing, why? Because you're gonna be joined by the grandparents, grandchildren, aunts and uncles, cousins, godparents, and if you know anybody in that area there, stand up. <laughs> all right. Okay, well thank you all for being here. Now back to the main focus. Main focus are graduates who, no doubt, this is a very special day for you. And it's my hope that as you leave this university, you will leave it well prepared, and I know you have, and that you achieve success and happiness. Today, a door is opening to great futures for each one of you. The road is open and the possibilities are endless. Choose your path with sound mind and kind heart. And regardless of your path, I hope that we have lit a fire in you to succeed in whatever you do after leaving UTSA. And as you pursue this personal success and achievement, I hope that you will continue your relationship with UTSA, by golly, because we need you. We need you involved for the next 50 years. So the Alumni Association is here to help you as you get engaged and get involved. We are, and what, what we're becoming is because of you. You're a part of this place. Take pride, in, take pride in this university and its accomplishments. There are also your accomplishments. Graduates, again, let me offer my sincere congratulations to you. Good luck and Godspeed. Linda Collins Montgomery received her bachelor's degree in political science from UTSA in 1987. She is president of JLM Marketing. Ms. Linda has been actively involved in various civic and community activities. Some of these activities include the American Cancer Society and the March of Dimes. She has the distinction of being one of the charter members of, and now vice president of the San Antonio Rotary Club at the Dominion. Linda has served as past president of the largest Republican women's club in Texas. She became the 26th president of the Alumni Association this year. Prior to assuming that position, Linda served one term on the board of directors and chaired the Alumni Association Gala in 2001. She is a life member of the Alumni Association. Ms. Linda and her husband, Jim, have what they describe as a blended family with three daughters, a son, and three grandchildren. Mrs. Montgomery will now greet the May graduating class on behalf of the Alumni Association. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Alumni Association's Board of Directors, I would like to be the first to welcome you to the UTSA alumni family of now more than 60,000 graduates. As president of the Alumni Association, it's my privilege to be a part of this ceremony, adding my words of congratulations to those that you are hearing today from faculty, family, and friends. And as the proud mother of not one, not two, not three, but four teachers, this particular ceremony is extremely important to me. Although you are graduating today, you are by no means through with your education. Some of you will further your education with postgraduate studies. Others will continue in the university of the real world. Whatever course your future takes, it is my sincere hope that, like me, you will look back on your years at UTSA as having prepared you to overcome and meet all the challenges that will come your way. I would ask you to look to your Alumni Association members for inspiration and information. We have many successful alumni who are more than willing to share their experiences with graduates such as yourselves. 
visit our alumni website. See the numerous ways in which the association can assist in your transition from student to graduate. Networking events, career assistance, mentorship, insurance programs, and debt consolidation services are just a few of the benefits available to members of the association. Events such as our Rising Star Gala, Homecoming Week, and Diploma Dash give you an opportunity to reconnect with your classmates, visit favorite professors, and renew friendships. Even if you choose not to become a member of the association at this time, please keep in touch. Send us an email. Let us know what you're up to and where you are. For just as your life is different today as it was when you first started college, so too circumstances change and your association will be here whenever you need us. Remember, too, to give thanks to those who have helped you along the way. Remember, too, UTSA, and as your time and means allow, give back to your university. Your contributions of time and energy are very valuable to us. I can tell you from my experiences as an alumni member, I have always gotten back much more than I've given. In the words of Winston Churchill, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. In keeping with tradition, those of you who have purchased UTSA rings will be asked to turn your rings around at the end of today's ceremony, signifying that you have received your degree. I invite all of our graduates and their guests to attend a reception hosted by the Alumni Association on the Convocation Center's East Lawn, immediately following this ceremony. And once again, congratulations and the best of luck to each and every one of you. Thank you, Ms. Montgomery. President Romo will introduce our speaker for this ceremony. Our keynote speaker today, Dr. Raymond Paredes, serves as Commissioner of Higher Education for the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board. The Coordinating Board provides a leadership for the state's higher education system to achieve excellence in educating Texas college students. Prior to his appointment, Dr. Paredes served as Vice President for Programs at the Hispanic Scholarship Fund the nation's leading organization supporting Hispanic higher education. Before joining Hispanic Scholarship Fund, he was Director of Creativity and Culture at the Rockefeller Foundation, where he managed a budget of more than $20 million and awarded some 200 grants in, annually in the arts and humanities to individuals from across the world. An educator for many years, Dr. Paredes taught English at UCLA and served 10 years as Associate Vice Chancellor for Economic and Academic Development. He also served as Special Assistant to the President of the University of California System where he was responsible for outreach programs intended to provide access to higher education for students from educationally disadvantaged communities. At UCLA, he chaired the Cesar Chavez Center and co-chaired the Committee for Education Research for the Inter-University Programs of Latino Research and Nationally Multi-Campus Initiative. Over the years, Dr. Paredes has served on numerous boards and committees, including the Latino Education Advisory Committee for the State of California and the California Commission for the Establishment of Academic Standards. He has presented more than 150 lectures around the country and serves as the editor of the Heath Anthology of American Literature and Mexican American Authors, one of the first textbooks of this type intended for high school use. His expertise on Mexican American literature and culture and the impact of demographic changes on American culture, arts, and education led to his selection as a consultant for Una Vision, in addition to National Public Radio, and for the movie The Ballad of Gregorio Cortez. In 1999, Dr. Paredes received the Distinguished Achievement Award of Melus, Multi-Ethnic Leader Society of the United States. He is a Vietnam veteran, having served in infantry, and he was born and raised in El Paso, and he received his 
bachelor's degree from UT Austin in English, a master's from USC, and a doctorate from the University of Texas at Austin. I might add on a personal note that when I was a graduate student at UCLA, he served on my dissertation committee. And I apologize for all the dangling participles that were in my first chapter. <laughs> we are honored to have a very distinguished educator, Dr. Raymond Baderes. Thank you, President Romo. Good morning. Many of you uh, have seen the remarkable movie, World War II movie, Saving Private Ryan, in which a small U.S. Army unit is sent behind enemy lines to pull from harm's way the last surviving member of the Ryan brothers, the rest of whom had died in combat. The U.S. soldiers risked their lives to prevent a family from becoming extinct. And sure enough, the unit finds Ryan, Private Ryan, saves him, but at great cost. As the leader of the rescue team, played by Tom Hanks, lies dying, he pulls R Private Ryan towards him and commands him to return home to lead a life that would justify the sacrifices made on his behalf for his survival. Some 60 years after the events that are depicted in Saving Private Ryan, we are gathered here for your graduation, and I urge all of the graduates this morning to accept a charge similar to that articulated by Tom Hanks' tragic dying character. Although the circumstances may not have been so dramatic in your own lives and the sacrifices not so terrible, Many of you are here this morning because of sacrifices made by parents, by brothers and sisters, by spouses. Many of the graduates here have made sacrifices themselves to arrive at this wonderful moment for all of you. All of you have benefited from the generosity of your fellow Texans who have subsidized your education through the revenues that flow to this and other state universities. The scale may be different, but I say to all graduates this morning, live lives that justify the sacrifices, large and small, made on your behalf, and return the generosity shown by millions of fellow Texans, mostly strangers, that help bring you to this crossroads in your lives. A college degree is often esteemed by its economic benefits, and it is indeed true that a college graduate usually earns somewhere between one and $1.5 million over the course of a career than someone who did not attend college. But if we educators have done our work well, a college education should mean much more than mere economic benefit. I urge you graduates this morning to remember that economic well-being even the achievement of wealth is seldom rewarding in itself and by itself. A truly rich life may have only a minimum of economic well-being or even none at all if it provides physical, psychological, and spiritual well-being. Economic success alone will not satisfy the charge I put to you this morning, but commitment to two straightforward principles will. First, I urge you to commit yourselves to a lifetime of inquiry, to the pursuit of knowledge and the development of wisdom. Engage the world around you in a spirit of analysis and compassionate criticism. Live your lives to their intellectual fullness. Remember the advice of the great American novelist, Henry James, when he said, be someone on whom nothing is wasted. In articulating my second charge to you, I ask you to remember that all of you are members of communities, professional communities, religious, ethnic, avocational, that need your thoughtful and compassionate involvement. When I was invited to speak at this commencement, I happily accepted knowing that I would be addressing graduates interested in teaching and other forms of public service. 
Which brings me specifically to my second charge. All the rest of your lives, be actively involved in helping people. Start with your families, of course, but go beyond to extend helping hands to your multiple communities. If teaching is your intended profession, commit yourselves to the proposition that children of all backgrounds can learn and can achieve. That the best teachers exude a genuine passion for learning and that good, caring teachers can transform, indeed transfigure, lives. In Texas, we have an initiative called Closing the Gaps, which has as its goal enrolling 600,000 more students, 600,000 more students in higher education in this state by the year 2015. It's not possible to reach that goal without dramatically increasing the ranks of teachers who are committed to the principles I just expressed, that all children can learn and all children can succeed. I was inspired myself to become a teacher when I attended the University of Texas at Austin and I saw the words that are inscribed on the University of Texas tower. Ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. I believe these words deeply and I applaud those of you committed to advancing educational opportunity and equity. There is no more valuable member of society than a great teacher. For those of you who are interested in public affairs and public service, I urge you to practice your professions be, uh, keeping in mind the great lessons about leadership and ethical and moral behavior you've been exposed to at this fine university. I ask you to recall the musings about moral imperatives by Henry David Thoreau in works like Walden and Civil Disobedience. I ask you to remember the call to social justice the call to educational equity by writers like James Adams in a book, 20 Years at Hull House. And I ask you to remember the pleas for social justice expressed by Martin Luther King in his letters from the Birmingham jail. If you somehow eluded these works and others like them while you were here at the University of Texas San Antonio, I ask you to recall my first charge to you of lifelong learning. Robert Browning once famously wrote that the best is yet to be. Humans have always believed this, we must believe this, that the ideal is somehow just beyond the horizon. Live thoughtful, compassionate, and engaged lives, and have thoughtful, passionate, and engaged careers, every one of you. And you can be the generation to prove Browning right. And along the way, you will have saved thousands of private Ryans and private Ramitases. Thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias, Dr. Paredes. Today's ceremony honors first those graduates who have completed the requirements for the doctoral degree in their respective fields. Dean Flanagan will certify the doctoral degree, degree candidates for the College of Education and Human Development. Thank you. Will the doctoral degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development please rise and remain standing? President Romo, it is a privilege to present these candidates for the degree of Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership or the Doctor of Philosophy in Culture, Literacy, and Language. The graduate faculty of the College of Education and Human Development has recommended that the ones who stand before you who have completed all academic requirements receive their respective degrees. Will the doctoral degree candidates from the College of Education and Human Development please remain standing? President Romo will confer the doctoral degrees. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended 
with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Will the doctoral candidates from the College of Education and Human Development please come forward to be invested with a hood and to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. College of Education and Human Development, Doctor of Philosophy, Mary Esther Soto Huerta. This is the first graduate of the Cultural Literacy and Language Program. Investing the hood is Dr. Berta Perez, her major professor. College of Education and Human Development, Doctor of Education degree, Karen Louise Hutchison. <laughs> Investing the hood are the, the this cad, cad graduates major professors, Dr. Betty M. Merchant. Mary Jane Miller. Investing the hood is this graduate's major professor, Dr. Raymond V. Padilla. Joan T. Newman. Investing the hood are this graduate's major professors, Dr. Betty M. Merchant and Dr. Paul H. Westmeyer. Next, we honor those graduates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree in their respective fields. Dean Flanagan will certify the master's degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development. Thank you. Will the master's degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development please rise and remain standing? President Romo, it is a privilege to present candidates for the Master of Arts in Adult and Higher Education, the Master of Arts in Bicultural Bilingual Studies, the Master of Arts in Counseling, and the Master of Arts in Education. Those who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, have been recommended by the graduate faculty of the College of Education and Human Development to receive their respective degrees. Please be seated. The master's degree candidates of the College of Public Policy will be certified by Dean Flanagan. Will all master's degree candidates of the College of Public Policy please rise and remain standing. President Romo will confer the master's degrees. President Romo, upon recommendation of the graduate faculty, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, are entitled to receive the Master of Science and Justice Policy or the Master of Arts in Public Administration.
Will all of the master's degree candidates please stand? It looks more impressive if we have all of you standing. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended, with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Let's give him a hand. Will the graduates please be seated to recognize the bond that exists between faculty and students. Professors from each college will have the honor of investing the hood appropriate to the degree earned to each of the master's degree recipients in a symbolic ritual of investiture. Will the faculty performing the hooding ceremony for the College of Human Education and Human Development please take their places in the designated area. And now will graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Education and Human Development please come forward to be invested with a hood and to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. The faculty investing the hood from the College of Education and Human Development are Dr. Mari R. Cortez, Dr. Cynthia D. Dubois, Dr. Marquita Evans, Dr. Larry B. Golden, Dr. Norma S. Guerra, Dr. Bibiana M. Gutierrez, Dr. Juliet Langman, Dr. Marie Miranda, Dr. L. Earl Raybold, Dr. David P. Thompson, and Dr. Wayne E. Wright. College of Education and Human Development, Master's Degrees, Maria Gordon Adams. Lilia Edith Aguirre. Velma X. Alquide. Alfredo Alexander Marquez. Jose Raul Alvarez, Juanita A. Alvarez, Hilda Arnold, Rebecca Jean Barnhart, Micaela Basaldúa, Laura Ann Benavides, Christine Marie Bilton, Lisa D. Bloom, Elizabeth Eileen Booty, Andra Sean Von Tries Buell, Maria Noreida Burgess, Diana Lee Butler. Zulema Carrasco Caballero, Jesus Calderon, Linda T. Caldwell, Catherine Grace Cantu, Gail Elizabeth Carvajal,
Cindy Cárdenas. Denise K. Carter. Kimberly Rose Castillo. Stephanie Cavazos. Wan Ling Chu. Laura Cintron. Anastasio Estrada Contreras. Laura Lee Cottle. Ashley Elizabeth De Spain. Nicole Daniels. Megan L. Dean. Melinda Garcia de Leon. Linda Raquel de Sutter. Guadalupe de Diaz. Julia Carmina Diaz. Cheryl Ann Douglas. David John Paul Dretke. Allison Ann Dunn. Graciela C. Durant. Janet Ann Flory. Mary Teresa Garcia. Nidia Irma Ga Garcia Hinojosa. Tanya Gonzalez. Patricia Salinas Garcia. Nakisha Nicole Graves. Adriana Gabriela Guardia. Miriam Jimena Guerra. Lisa Marie Guerrero. Karina Guevara. Robin Jolaine Hauf. Joanne Roberta Hayes. Cynthia Eileen Herrera. Rebecca Herrera. Robin K. Herrera. Dolores C. Hobbs. Samantha Ann Hopkins. Wei Chi Shung. Jeanette Michelle Hughes. Lisa Ann Hind. Liza Marie Hunter Hion Galvan. Ann Louise Jimenez. Christina Lynn Johnson. Carol Lynn Jones. Jennifer Renee Casper. Christopher Wayne Kibbe. Quincy Lovell King. Jennifer Ann Lamb. April Dawn Lover. Lover. Evan Michael Lieberman. Lieberman. Erica Lira. Norman Lee Lloyd. Leticia Loredo. Angela Ray Lozano. Catherine Sienna Linderman. Louis Gonzalez Luna. 
Lynette Marie Lynn. Carmen G. Martinez. Stacy Hillenbrand Marshall. Jessica Lee Moppen. Adelina Christine McLennan. Randall Allen McGibney. Kathleen Quinn McLaughlin Hion Velasquez. Terry L. Mendez. Sergio Mercado Hijo. Donald John Milner Jr. Sofia Susana Molinar Kindlin. Karen Tracy Monroe. Karen Sue Musu. Ruby Lopez Morris. Jan Elizabeth Mickey. Stephanie Non Nalbach. Laura Isabel Negron Barrera. Holly Renee Nelson. Tani Marie Netro. Arturo Rosa Ortiz. Jennifer Patricia Perez. Antonia Alegria Portillo. Greg Joseph Ramirez. Lisa Yvette Ramirez. Yvette Lorraine Ramirez. Joseph Henry Raymond Sr. Laura Raso Hion Mata. Ann K. Rettig. Araceli Puentes Reten Renteria. Berta Alicia Reyes Hion Pond. Alicia Jimenez Rich. Octavio Alfaro Reina. Claudia Isela Rios Wright. Connie Luna Rodriguez. Diana Melissa Rodriguez. Kimberly Ann Rodriguez. Loretta Rodriguez. Julissa Perez Romero. Sarah Elisa Rosette. Jennifer Marie Reese. Paul Eduardo Reese. Raul Eduardo Reese. Gloria Aida Riz Hion Piña. Tamara Peña Saladr Salandro. Maria Elena Salazar. Cynthia Andrea San Miguel. Teresa Vallejo Sands. Julissa Santillan. Caroline Cachuba Saucedo. Jacqueline Renee Sears. Saida Montes Severns. Lorraine Marie Shaw. Annette Marie Soto. Kimberly Ann Stelter. Rosalinda H. Tellez. Yeah. 
Dalal Jachabel Tapia. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole Thompson. Alejandra Tiscarreño. Brenda Marie Trigo Gallardo. Jennifer L. Tucker. Mary Clarissa Usray. Usray. Rocio Jimena Valdez. Julieta Mesa Valencia. Silvia Vargas. Desiree Levon Valadez. Michelle Lee Vasquez. Maria Guadalupe Vidal Johnson. Megan Evelyn Voigt. Linda Gialoretto Williamson. Amy Jo Witt. Zhao Ping Wu. Victoria Lynn Zapper. Gloria Amparo Zarate. Lori Beth Zaire. Will the faculty that were assisting with the congratulations from the College of Education and Human Development please take your seats. Thank you very much for your assistance. Will the faculty performing the hooding investiture from the College of Public Policy please move to the pre-designated area? And now will the graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Public Policy please come forward to be invested with the hood and to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. The two members of the faculty who are investing the hood from the College of Public Policy are Dr. Gerald D. Cogburn and Dr. Tanya L. Settles. College of Public Policy, Master's Degrees, Kimberly Corinne Astron. Derricka Diana Nalen Bailey. Stephanie Elaine Bocanegra. Heather Dawn Finnerty. Yes. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Flores Quillon Williams. <clears throat> Elisa Rodriguez Gonzalez. Bridget Kelly Guzman. Lori Diane Ipolo. Leslie Brooke King. Salvador Montes Hijo. Alisa Marie Munoz. David Orozco.
Konshiri Cherry Piluk. Dwight Anson Sadler. Cindy Cantu Segovia. Enrique Hillary Trejo. The hooding faculty for the College of Public Policy may now be seated and thank you for your assistance. <laughs> Dean Merchant will certify the baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Education and Human Development please rise and remain standing? <laughs> President Romo, Upon recommendation of the Faculty of the College of Education and Human Development, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you, who have completed all academic requirements, are entitled to receive their degrees. Please be seated. Dean Zapata will certify the baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Public Policy. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates in the College of Public Policy please rise and remain standing. <laughs> President Romo, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you have completed all academic requirements, have been recommended by the faculty of the College of Public Policy, and are entitled to receive their degrees. Will the baccalaureate degree candidates in the College of Public Policy remain standing? And will all baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Education and Human Development please rise? President Romo will confer the baccalaureate degrees. Dean Merchant, Dean Zapata. Graduates. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Okay. Give my hand. Please be seated. Crossing the stage first to receive their diplomas in each college will be the summa cum laude graduates, followed by the magna cum laude graduates, in turn followed by the cum laude graduates. These honor graduates wear the gold cord to recognize the excellence each has demonstrated in her or his academic pursuits. Faculty members representing their college and their department colleagues will congratulate the baccalaureate students. Will these representatives from the College of Education and Human Development Please take your seat, or your places rather, in the designated area. College of Education and Human Development, Baccalaureate Degree, Summa Cum Laude, Erna Marie Acuna. <laughs> Diane Susan Barksdale, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Betsy Barrera, Summa Cum Laude. Jean Marie Bullock, summa cum laude. Cara Lee Gonzalez, summa cum laude. Pamela Jane Hall, summa cum laude. Cassandra C. McAdams McGill, summa cum laude.
Christine Karen Kikan, summa cum laude. Christine Michelle Tart, summa cum laude. Velma T. Weeks, summa cum laude. Mary Ann Elizabeth Wong, summa cum laude. College of Education and Human Development Baccalaureate Degrees, magna cum laude, Tracy Allen Abercrombie. Amber Chris Kathleen Aldereza, magna cum laude. Christina Uresti Cochran, magna cum laude. Francisco Delgado Hijo, magna cum laude. Carrie Edson Derry, magna cum laude. Nida Diribania Calia, magna cum laude. Sarah Catherine Ernst, magna cum laude. Ginger Raquel Freeman, magna cum laude. Stacy Cardoso de Garcia, magna cum laude. Erin Gray, magna cum laude. Juan Martinez Hernandez, magna cum laude. Suzanne Marie Jobes, magna cum laude. Kathleen Marie Nelson, magna cum laude. Jose Fermin Perez Guion Cruz, magna cum laude. Marilu Ramey, magna cum laude. Jennifer Lee Schultz, magna cum laude. Samantha N. Simmons, magna cum laude. Melissa Marie Williams, magna cum laude. Tracy Aaron, Tracy Aaron what? Tracy Aaron Weimer, magna cum laude. College of Education and Human Development, Baccalaureate Degrees, Cum Laude, Ashley Michelle Regrijo, Jennifer Lee Austin, Cum Laude, Jennifer Suzanne Bernier Moranti, Cum Laude, Celine Bordelon, Cum Laude, Megan Michelle Carver, Cum Laude, Diana Casillas, cum laude. Cynthia E. Edwards, cum laude. Catherine Renee Evitz, cum laude. Emily Ann Fenton, cum laude. Cynthia Yvonne Garcia, cum laude. Lisa Marie Garcia, cum laude. Crystal Ann Garza, cum laude. Laura Ann Lockwood George, cum laude. Darlene Marie Hardy, cum laude. Mary Margaret Hernandez, cum laude. Sylvia Brianne Hester, cum laude. Tammy Lynette Jackson Magot, cum laude. Pamela Lavon Juniper, cum laude. Danielle Leatherwood, cum laude. Diego Fernando Navia, cum laude. Rebecca Onbi Pettijohn, cum laude. Kristen Marie Phillips, cum laude. Alicia Marie Ponder, cum laude. Tainina Alison Ramirez, cum laude. Nicole Ann Reimer, cum laude. Topaz Ron Garcia, cum laude. Cristina Violeta Salazar, cum laude. Robin Yvonne Skaggs, cum laude. Kaori Sinceri Sugino, cum laude. 
Christina Sunshine Valentine Cum Laude. <laughs> Melissa Jane White Cum Laude. Vanessa Marcela Zepeda Cum Laude. Amber Nicole Zeidelman Cum Laude. College of Education and Human Development Baccalaureate Degrees, Liliana I. Aguirre. Monica Jane Albertson. Yvonne Michelle Alexander. Elaine Marie Angel. Blas E. Arce El Tercero. Tiffany Lynette Arrellano. Rene Martinez Arrevalo. Amber C. Ashton. Manuel Ayala. Tracy Elizabeth Barbato. Kimberly Nicole Barker. Becky Ann Barnes. Anitra Marie Barrera. Desiree Lee Barrera. Destiny Marie Barrera. Michelle Marie Beacom. Maria del Rosario Beltran. Amanda Benavides. Jamie Lee Berries. Kashi Lee Bjorkon. Courtney Lynn Block. Bradley Aaron Bobbitt. Bernadette Elizabeth Belosa. Jennifer Darcy, Darice Brandley Farmer. Anne Catherine Brady. Keisha M. Brandt. Mary Corleen Brown. Courtney Michelle Burkholder. Diane Arvine Burton. Juan Natividad Cavazos Hijo. Yvonne Nicole Canales. Diana Christine Cano. Marta Cecilia Cárdenas Quillon Montemayor. Mark Cardona. Angelica N. Castillo. Erica N. Castillo. Edith Tamika Christian. Bernardo Cisneros Hijo. Kathleen Michelle Clifford. Michelle Cordero. Laura Lisa Corona. Miguel Angel Cotrino Hijo. Brenda Grace Council. Lindsay Ann Cowie. Carrie Elizabeth Cravey. Carolina Ruth Curry. Danny Constante Delgado. Brenda Gale Dotson. Sean Renee Douglas. Amy Elizabeth Drury. Tori Lee Dugger. Dugger. Joseph Anthony Earl. Janice Eby. Brittany Diane 
Engelke. Lindsay Elizabeth England. Annie Marie Escamilla. Lori Linda Escamilla. Angelina Luis Escobar. Vanessa Marie Espiritu. Sean Leland Etheridge. Rachel M. Fonts. Jennifer Michelle Fisher. Eric Jason Fisk. Jennifer Ryan Flores. Amanda M. Gaitner. Dulce Lilian Galvan. Gloria Graciela Galvan. Tiffany Lee Gambrell Cloud. Kathleen G. Jan. Lee Ray Garza. Jennifer Case Gomez. Daniel G. Gonzalez. Jose Gon G. Jose G. Gonzalez. Travis Leon Leon Griggs. Angela Jean Grivich. Fernando Javier Guerra Hijo. Tiffany Lynn Hallmark. Michelle, uh, excuse, Jennifer Michelle Hall Perkins. Hillary Lee Hanley. LaShawn Rena Hartfield. Marie Bernadette Herbeck. Alejandro David Hernandez Gutierrez. Jonah Hernandez. Frida Marie Hitchcock. Michael Wayne Holt. Kelly Ann Hughes. Jessica Marie Isaac. Jason Travis James. Lillian Camille Jemison. Samantha Ray Jensen. Leslie Ann Jimenez. Brenda Lee Johnson. Kristen Renee Johnson. Anne M. Hadry. Tiffany M. Killingsworth. Lorena G. Chris. Lindsay Price Lair. Amanda Suzanne Lamberts. Jennifer Lynn Lapius. Kimberly Leanne Lawhorn. Ashley Michelle Lehman. Heather Rachel Rochelle Lykin. Gail Sibley Lopez. Fatima Alejandra Lozano Gion Juarez. Norma Lee Lucio Gion Zapata. Amanda Lugo. Monica Vasquez Lum. Danielle Nicole McNeil. Teresa Marie Maldonado Guillon Mayfield. Maribel Marin Guillon Alvarado. Raquel Valero Martinez. Erica Michelle Miami. Kelly Michelle McLean. 
Dana Elizabeth McDonald. Sammy Kane McDonald. Cindy Marie Anika McKenzie. Rhonda Lizette McRae. Jeanette Vivian McWhorter. Alicia Claire Mitmeyer. Sarah Ann Menger, Patrick M. Metoyer, Lee Leto Miller, Nadine Elaine Moore, Erica Kathleen Morales. Shelly Suzanne Morales. Melanie Janine Moran. Mireya Moreno. Melissa Dawn Naranjo. Tamikula Dawn Nelson. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole Newell. Krista Diane Otmers. Sarah L. Overfelt. Emily Shiree Palmer. Jeanette Palomino. Abigail Sterling Parrish. Melissa Yvette Pena. Lisa Jennifer Perez. Wendy Shea Perry. Melissa N. Pesina. Alexa M. Prats. Sarah Robertson Puckett. Jennifer Shea Perrier. Lorena H. Ramon. Benjamin Dubois Ra Ramsey. Rebecca Kyle Reynolds. James Anthony Riojas. Richard B. Rios, Jr. Margaret Catherine Rischebarger. Lauren Stanton Roberts. Monica Nicole Rodriguez. Rebecca Marie Rodriguez. Roel Rodriguez. Angelita Rodriguez Gion Rodella. Candice Rosas. Pamela Avila Salazar. Raymond Salazar El Cuarto. Wally Saldaña. Sofia Abigail Saldiva. Ángel Severiano Sánchez. José J. Sánchez. Lee Christine Sanchez. Ana Maria Castillo Sandoval. Laurencia Sandoval. Alejandra Santa Maria. David Eduardo Santiago Huertas. Adrian Santos. Brett Ryan Schumacher. Lisa Marie Serna. Lauren Shirley. Susan Marie Tallboys. 
Víctor Tamés Hijo, Charlie Torres, Cristina Aileen Torres, Marisol Lozano Torres, Noemí Torres, Delfina Maya Torres, Kelly L. Tremaine, Lisa Marie Turner, Candice Michelle Valenta, Kylie Deanne Valenzuela, Lindsay Michelle Vestal, Christy Lee Walls, Kevin Scott Ware, Erin Elizabeth Winburn, Nancy A. Wingrove, Teresita Ibarra, The congratulating faculty representatives from the College of Education and Human Development may return to your seats and thank you very much for your assistance. This concludes the baccalaureate degree can uh, candidates of the College of Education and Human Development. Will the congratulating faculty from the College of Public Policy please take your places in the designated area. Will all graduates of the College of Public Policy come, please come forward or continue coming forward to receive your diplomas and to be congratulated by Dean Zapata and President Romo. The faculty congratulating the baccalaureate students from the College of Public Policy are Dr. Roger Enriquez, Dr. Kimberly Keller, and Dr. Cynthia P. McCluskey. College of Public Policy and baccalaureate degree, summa cum laude, Angela Marie Kester. Veronica Christina Wallace, summa cum laude. College of Public Policy, magna cum laude, Maricela D. Leon. Rat Ryan Patrick Rutledge, magna cum laude. College of Public Policy, baccalaureate degrees, cum laude. Amy Marie Austin, Heather Ann Foley, cum laude, Mark Stephen Gowan, cum laude, Jimmy Deborah Reyes, cum laude, Jose Abel Torres, hijo, cum laude, College of Public Policy, baccalaureate degrees, Randy Alvarez. Sheila Vanessa Alvarez, Fernando Anzaldúa, Kimberly Bale, Stephen Warren Bushover, Robert Norman Caballero, Armando René Castellano. Teresa Castillo Verdin, Sandra Chapa, Bradley George Chavers, John Ashley Chung, Carol Lynn Corrales, Laura Jean Cricky. Crystal Marie Daniels Guion Garcia. Cristina Rene Dietrich. Javier Dominguez Hijo. Travis W. Eccles. Nestor Esquivel. Tia Hanavan Farias. Ruth Flowers. Lori Galindo, 
Diana D. Garcia. Eric Garcia. Javier Martin Garcia. Jessica Daniel Garza. Ryan Mark Glenn. Mark Stephen Godilia. Gregory Allen Goebel. Daniel Joseph Goff. Ricardo Gomez Hijo. John Robert Goodson. Justin James Harbert. Kayla Denise Harris. Ricardo Hereda Hijo. Sandy Belen Hinojosa. Walter Tarek Hopkins. Sarah, Sarah Miles Jackson. Joshua Jerome Jefferson. Regina Nicole Johnson. Robert Bernard Kieber. Robert R. Leon El Tercero. Keith Lister, Geraldine J. Lopez, Vanessa Marie Lopez, Amaera Janeska Lowe, Philip Luna, Victoria Antoinette Madison. Claudia Denise Martinez. Doris A. Martin, Darcy A. Martinez. Henry K. Marupin. Hector L. Medina. Celeste Marie Menchaca. Rodolfo Gustavo Morales. Veronica Marie Morgan. Juliana C. Narvaez. Carlos A. Navarro. Lindsay Patrice Packham. Dane Allen Peterson. Melanie Prieto. Olga Marta Quesada. Dana Ereni. Bianca V. Ramirez. Rene Ramirez. Gloria Rangel. Julissa Angie Rangel. Armando Esqueda Reyes. Adrián Reina. Melanie Rivera. Tina Marie Rodriguez. Mirta Zeta Sandoval. Dalita Linea Savage. Byron J. Schrimmer. Maria Florisa Serna. Carly Katie Smith. Vincent Philip Smith. Christopher H. Terrazas. Valerie Oralia Vallejo. John David Vasquez. Oscar Vega. Santiago Vega. 
Alicia Nadine Vernon. Jeffrey Dean Vickers. Latoya Rachelle Williams. Nancy Salazar Williams. Raquel B. Williams. Victor Leslie Winters Kunko. Beatriz Cristina Jimenez. April Paz Llanas. Brandy Nicole Young. Diana Y. Samarron. Veronica Zamora. Abel Miguel Perez Zepeta. And Mondell Maurice Warren. Thank you very much for your assistance, and I recognize the presence of Dr. Michael Gilbert. To signify a rite of passage and graduation from the University of Texas at San Antonio, will the graduates please shift the tassel on your mortarboard to the left side, and congratulations. For those of you who purchased a UTSA ring, now is the time to take it off and turn it around, having the insignia face outwardly to the rest of the world to show that you are now a proud alumnus or alumna of UTSA, and congratulations. Before closing, I wish to exercise brief personal privilege to recognize the special contributions of two longtime colleagues to this commencement. Dr. Patricia A. Graham, who choreographed this commencement ceremony, and Dr. Robert J. Rustowitz, who along with his students provided the music for this event. Congrats. Thank you. I now ask you to stand and join Francisco Espinosa as he leads us in singing the UTSA Alma Mater. please be seated. We ask that all guests please remain seated until the graduates leave the Convocation Center. The UTSA Mariachi Los Paisanos will perform the recessional music. We invite all graduates and guests to join the faculty and staff of your college in the reception following this commencement ceremony. 
On account of the inclement weather, the reception will be in the University Center East. That's in the University Center, inside. We ask that the audience please leave by the north of doors, that the doors that are directly behind me. Will the university marshal please take up the mace and the faculty marshals retrieve the college banners and lead the graduates in the recessional? This signifies the conclusion of the university's College of Education and Human Development and the College of Public Policy, this May 2005 commencement ceremony. Thank you for coming to our celebration. Muchas gracias y muy buenas tardes.
que me siga la tambora, que me toque en el quelite, después el niño perdido y por último el torito pa' que vean cómo me pinto. Ay, 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 mamá por Enamorado, pero de eso nada tengo Todos mis es el de negro Un negro pero con suerte Porque si me salta un gallo No me le rajo a la muerte Ay, 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 mamá por Dios Por Dios que borracho vengo Que me siga la tambora Que me toque en el gelite Después el niño perdido Y por último el torito para que me hagan como me pinto Ay, ay, ay Cuando está con Romero